So as you can see here, here's my cattle crush. As you can see, this crush has got no platform. Uh, so it's just these steel struts on the bottom and it's uh, been bolted into the concrete. It's an old crush, probably been here at least 10 years. So what I've done is I've measured the distance from the head bale up here to the kick gate. So that's my main platform and I've got four uh, four by twos there to add a bit of structural integrity. It's 700 mil wide. So these are 250, this is 200, and this one's 250. So I've had to plane a bit of the edges off just because it's a little bit of a snug, uh, snug fit. You want a couple of mil there, so it just makes it easy to get the platform in and out. This is the kick gate platform. So you can see here, I've um, put some two by fours under there, and it's about 780 long by uh, 700 wide okay and the cows come through there and step up onto the kick gate platform and then onto the weighing platform there too so you can see here i've done a little bit of practice drilling my holes and uh with the load cell so i know what it's like <sighs> got the positioning it's good here because i can also measure what it's going to be like as far as the height's concerned so i can see that's a a little bit high compared to the kick gate platform. So I'm gonna to wanna to drop that right down. Okay, got some test holes that I've drilled there, test holes at the back, figured out which which ones are the, the best and, and attaching them to, you can see that there's the, the spacer in there as well. So here's my kick gate platform. So I've just created it's nice and snug. There's not much of a, a step forward there. I probably wanna put a little bit of timber uh, there between the um, the gate and the platform, but it's not super essential. And I uh, just want to make sure that the main platform is nice and level to there. So just having to, to take it plane a little bit off the ends of these um, main hardwood beams, because uh, uh, you need it to be nice and easy to lift in and out. You don't want it to be too snug a fit. So I'm just going to measure those up. So here I've got um, three main beams for the platform. You want these side ones as wide as possible because that's where most of the cattle's weight's going to be. Um, and obviously the center one so that they don't fall through. So uh, here what I'm doing is I'm planing off the sides of this timber. Sometimes with this rough cut timber, it's um, the width can be a little bit different. So here I'm just going to measure the distance required for my center beam. So here I've got 195 for a nice fit. So if I look at the, the width of this beam, that's pretty close. Uh, but I want a, a couple of mil just to, to be able to drop in there and make it easy to remove the platform. I don't want it to be too snug a fit. I want a couple of mil on each side uh, just to make removing the platform nice and simple. So one of the key things that you want to do is the with the kick gate platform, you want to be sure that there's plenty of clearance for the gate to open and close, because that's going to be an important part of you weighing the animals. So let's just check the clearance. Yep. That's going to be fine. So that's uh, 45 mil uh, hardwood on two two by fours that are 45 mil. Uh, seek as well too. So you're 90 mil off the ground, so plenty of clearance. You're gonna be able to put the animals in there, get their weight nice and easy, let them out, good to go. So here I'm just gonna look at the distance from the edge. Again, this is this platform is 2.04 meters long. So I'm gonna wanna put that first two by four about 200 mils from the end. So you can see the two by four is now about 200 mil from the edge. And now we're gonna to wanna to mark up the load cells. So we're gonna put them. So you want the edge of that about 75 mils from the edge. Okay, it's gonna go down there. Just make sure you got plenty of clearance. So we're going to measure these up. So that's 200 to the first 2x4. 
edge of the 2x4 to the center of the foot, 200, 200 again to the next 2x4, and so we go on. So, gonna be there, 75 from the edge. So the center of that is 510, 510, it's about the center, 75, about there, okay, same at the front, so I'm just going to measure 510, and the center, 75 from the edge, it's about there. Spacer, important to check that again. We're at 510 to the center. And about 75 from the edge. Round about there. <clears throat> so we'll just see what it looks like when the beams are on the outside. Oop. Just to give us an indication of how that's gonna look. As you can see, the load cells have got very long cords, which you need to connect to the indicator. So, you got plenty of length there, so you can put the indicator pretty much wherever you want. So we can see here we've got all the braces completed. So we got our four braces done, lined up, we've got our four feet, and we've got our four cables coming up over the top. Check that the swing's in okay. So here's my uh, platform, and my four individual load cells on there, and that's the uh, kick gate platform. So a little small platform there, and the main way platform is there. 45 mil hardwood, about two meters long, uh, and it's about 700 wide. So there's the. Junction box. So one of the things you want to make do is, uh, so after you've labeled your uh, cables, they're 3.5 3 meters long, is you're going to want to run them under the crush to where the junction box is going to be. Okay, so you're going to go, I'm going to run them here along the side. I'm going to run them there. And these cables make sure they're they're labeled. I'm gonna run them under here as well too. One thing you don't want is cables catching on people or cattle's feet when you're working on them on the yards. You want to make sure everything is nice and neatly tucked away. So this one here is this one. Okay. Everything there. Kind of fiddle around with it a little later, but that's the, the crux of it. Because the kick gate platform is going to go there. And I'm going to want to run these along the side. I can use electrical tape to fix them up later. I've got all the cables marked here as well too. So that'll be easy for me to connect uh, to the junction box. So I've connected up the first load cell. So I've got black, white, yellow, green, and red. And looking, that's, so this one here, the top left, as I'm holding, so you've got to hold the junction box as you're looking at the platform with the load cells attached. Okay, so that's the load cell on the left at the top. So that's that one, and then this one, the top right of the junction box, that's the 
furthest away load cell on the right hand side and when you're looking with the junction box make sure that the indicator port is here on the right hand side as you're configuring okay so we'll connect up the next one indicator hooked up there all ready to start taking readings 770 it's Cooper being weighed in scales we got a calf in there on the platform kick gate closed We're going to do a reading, 120,